well, 2019 is here. We had one heck of a 2018 in our community. I mean, a lot can happen in 12 months, and a lot has. Now that 2018 is said and done, I want to take a look back at some personal favorites I had in 2018. Some of the best keyboards I've built, some of the best key sets I've put on the keyboards, and some of the best switches I've sandwiched beneath those. Before I get to all of that, this episode is sponsored by Novel Keys. Over at Novel Keys, you can check out awesome desk mats, switches, and key sets either in stock or running as a group buy. Or hey, maybe you're a designer looking for a group buy proxy in North America. You should check them out. If you're going to be shopping there, don't forget the 5% discount code for this month, which changes every month. And for this month, it's Manny, M-A-N-N-Y, which is a great code for a great site. Thanks, Mike. Now, let's get to some lists. The first list on our list of lists is the list for the best key sets I got this year. Some of these will be coming at no surprise because you might have seen them a lot in some of my other videos. Some of them may. I have tried to pair these the best as I can, at least how I prefer them. By the way, these key sets are ranked in order from fifth place to first place. First place being the creme de la creme, my favorite of the year. So starting at number five, the fifth best set I got this year is a bit of a surprise. It's the Cat Alphas. Honestly, this set is really nice to type on and I hope production can ramp up. I think if Key Creative keeps it up, Cat can have a very bright future in 2019 if we get some more colors going on. Next up is a set we can enjoy on a nice outdoor day. Of course, I'm talking about the green beauty that is GMK Camping. This set was designed by King Nesty and has such a soothing effect on the eyes. Honestly, I don't mind the novelty keys at all. And I really like the adventurous feel that they give. In third place is a set that was color matched perfectly to a Lego brick. It's GMK Serica by Zamumon. This bright and lovely set is just a feast for the eyes. The yellow came out perfectly. And despite the minor drama about the sub-legends, I love them. I think they should have always been there. I think Xamon did an amazing job at the key set, and I think it'll always find its way on one of my acrylic or polycarbonate keyboards. Moving to the runner-up for my favorite key sets of 2018, the runner-up in second place is da -da 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 -da. Jim K. Olivia by the Queen of Rose Gold herself. Olivia did a wonderful job expressing her love and adoration for everything rose gold with a key set that is meant to idolize that color. Throw the set on a dark case to let the rose gold really pop out and you're in for a treat. I may have disagreed about the rose gold space bar in the base kit, but hey, you don't see me complaining anymore. In fact, for GMK Olivia, I embrace it. So in first place, because I'm a wee with a keeb, you may have guessed it, and it may be of a surprise to you. My favorite key set of 2018 was GMK Red Samurai, which was designed by Red Sons. Okay, to be honest, I was really looking forward to getting this set, and even looking forward to it, I was still blown away by how much I love it. This set is absolutely gorgeous on my TX60 Champagne, and it really does work wonders with a few other boards I have, like my X60. The Sub-Legends are a must for GMK Red Samurai, and to set I've really, really, really enjoyed this year. I don't like red that much as a color, but this set has done it justice. So what is next? Next is the top five switches. Now unlike the previous list or the list after this one, this one really is in no particular order since I swap keyboards and moods daily depending on what switch I feel like using. Starting off is technically more than one switch, but categorically I'm gonna label it as one switch. It's the Gatoron switches that Gatoron been putting out to the community for other people. What do I mean? Examples would be exclusives, Gatoron switches, Rebel White switches, Tangerine switches. Um, yeah, all these will come with different minor housing swaps or different springs, things mixing and matching. Conceptually, they're all, a, all the same. They're all a pretty solid, usually reasonably priced, sometimes overpriced, Gatoron linear. And there's no shortage with many others on the horizon, like the face switches on the way. All these switches are decently smooth out of the box and take very well to lubing, so they're pretty fun to use. Next up is the Novel Keys Cream Switches. I know for most people they haven't been released, but being a cool cat and all, I, uh, I was able to ball it up and get a set from Novel Keys to build with, and I'll say this about them. They deserve to be lubed. 
They're begging to be lubed. They're yearning to be lubed. Honestly, if you're getting these switches, you're better lubing them than anything else. Lube novelty cream switches have a lighthearted, fun uh, feel due to the light spring and the unique sound due to the all palm housings. Great switches as long as you follow that caveat. Lube them up, buttercup. Next up is one of the community favorites for 2018. Cherry retooled MX Blacks. Since Cherry has retooled their MX Black Switch, these have risen exponentially in popularity as Cherry housings are basically an easy mode to having a good sounding switch. While the smoothness may never be perfect, Cherry retooled MX Blacks work so well as a canvas to try out different lubes to see their effect on the switch. For the most part, no matter what you do, it's hard to mess them up too much. That's thanks to the housings and used for the cherry switches, which give a definite bonus to the characteristic of the sound. I built a few keyboards with retooled blacks in 2018. It's been fun, and you know what? I'm going to be doing it again in 2019. The next two are relatively recent releases. I did receive my samples a little bit ahead of time. 62 gram Azelios V2 and Helios. You know what? These are absolutely amazing switches. My Helios are built up and lubed, and I think that they are absolutely the best silent linears. They blow MX silence out of the water, and they are the way to have a silent linear switch. How about the new Zelios V2? These little tactile boys are some beasts in disguise because they have that crisp bump up front and center. Both of these switches take superbly to being lubed, however you like it, but preferably something on the thicker side like a 3203 or 3204 would be ideal. Great job, Zeal. That's it for my top switches, and I do switch between all of those quite often, um, so don't take that in any kind of particular order. They're just five switches I've really enjoyed and have stood out to me in 2018. So, it's time for the big list. The top five keyboards I built up this year. At number five, we have the E6 V2 Founders Edition. This brass beauty is a hefty one. It's a beautiful all silver PVD finish on an all brass keyboard and with an almost mirror-like finish. This keyboard is remarkably solid and heavy to type on. Mine has holy pandas and it's a typing treat. Wind keyless layout is a lot of fun and a great alternative for the HH can be allowed for a 60%. You know what? I'd do it again. Coming in at fourth place is the Duck Acrylic Unicorn. Honestly, despite the fact I had so much trouble with this board eventually having to dremel out the plate to fit stabilizers, this board is such an amazing typing experience, it totally makes up for that. Lubed Telios uh, with 3204 and 1514, the thick acrylic layers make the sounds coming from this keyboard just sing a beautiful melody. It's really also easy to pair up a set like GMK Serco with this board. In third place is the Jur A06. This unique TKL is a very recent entry in my collection, but has already made quite an impact. I'm a fan of the top-mounted PCB that has PCB-mounted switches. That's a unique thing going for it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to be keeping an eye out in the future for any boards that might have a similar mounting style. It's definitely one of the most unique boards I've built this year solely because of that, and that's awesome. Now. We're getting to this, the runner-up, the second place, the second best keyboard I've built this year. My most recent build of my Mira SE TKL, of course. It's built with the lubed Helios, which is already really high in my Switch loves, and it's an absolute blast to type on. This is one of the heftiest boards I own, and while I did have to wait a cool minute for this board, many of my friends know that, the payoff was absolutely worth it. This board is simply magnificent. It's glorious, it's impressive. Typing on this keyboard is like a comforting cloud of quiet under my fingertips. The weight looks beautiful, and this keyboard just works. Next up, keyboard of the year. If you know me, you probably have seen this coming from a mile away. This keyboard is, in my opinion, the pinnacle of what I love about the keyboard community. My 2018 keyboard of the year is the TGR Alice, designed by Yutsi. This keyboard is an absolute masterpiece. The ergonomic layout is perhaps the best I've ever used. The layout is beautiful. I really wanna work on a review soon because I have so much wonderful things to say about this keyboard and I also want more excuses to keep using it more and more. 
Currently mine is built with holy pandas. I've really been loving it. Essentially everything about this board just oozes quality. It's easily the favorite keyboard I have in my collection. The Alice is just so well done and this Alice is exactly how I want it to be. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know in the comments, what are your favorite keycap switches and keyboards of 2018? Did you build something particularly interesting? Is there anything in 2019 that you're looking forward to? I'm excited to hear about all of it. So on this channel, I have approximately three videos a week. So subscribe if you want to see more mechanical keyboard videos. Feel free to like and subscribe and watch my other videos when you get a chance. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.